Hello Scorpio, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a look into your partner. It could be a present partner or a future partner. This message will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and it will not resonate with every Scorpio out there. Wow, okay, we just split the deck and I've seen the Ace of Cups. So keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those resonate more. This will be for the month of February, 2020. So we'll see what we have in store for you guys. I'm gonna be looking at what this person is thinking, how they feel about you, about the connection, what the challenges or the blocks are in this connection, and what possible outcome there could be. And I'm going to clarify with a different deck. So I'm gonna invite spirits, please bring forth messages for Scorpio, please, for their present or future partner. Messages for Scorpio and their present or future partner for February 2020. So I've been using a different deck altogether for all the other signs, but for some reason I felt like using this deck for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'd like to take this moment to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, or left me a comment. I've read all of your comments. Hmm. I appreciate them all. All right, so let's see what we have for Scorpio. Roles can be reversed, so just keep that in mind, even though I'm saying, you know, Scorpio's person, you know, feel free to reverse the roles if they resonate. All right, Spirit, what's this person's, what is Scorpio's person thinking about? What's on their mind? What's on this person's mind regarding this connection? What's on this person's mind regarding this connection? <clears throat> Excuse me, Ten of Cups. Well, that's a great start. How do they view Scorpio in this connection? How does this person view Scorpio in this connection? Nope, oh, nope. Oh. <coughs> okay, so this could be taken two ways. They either see this as moving very quickly. They might want to talk to you. Give me one more card, please, for the Eight of Wands. the eight of wands hmm three of swords and it's funny because while I was shuffling I saw the three of swords and I was like hmm okay five of wands into the deck so this person might be thinking that talking to you moving towards you is going to cause pain or conflict for someone Queen of Swords, someone's gonna be pissed about this connection is what I'm seeing so far. I'm gonna clarify, but that's just the initial, whoa, okay. That's just the initial feelings that I'm getting here. So how do they feel about the connection? How does this person feel about this connection with Scorpio? person feel about this connection I keep getting this star okay so they they think this is everything that they've been wanting with the star five of swords emperor under the decks or seven of swords sorry an emperor under the deck I feel like this person is watching you secretly This is someone who's used to getting what they want with the Emperor here. Could be an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart or Aquarius in their chart. So what is the blocks in this connection? What's the challenges in this connection for Scorpio present and future partner or present or future? Okay. 
the lovers. Hmm. Two of cups under the deck. Wow. How is that a challenge or a block? <laughs> this is like soulmate energy. Sign of Gemini here. I'm gonna have to clarify that. Why, why the lovers? Why the lovers in the challenge or the block? Are you kidding me? Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands. I feel like there's something here where this person has to defend or fight for this relationship with you or this connection with you. I have the chariot under the deck. So this person is definitely wanting to move forward. I'm going to have to clarify this um, with a different deck, but that's what I'm seeing is with the seven of wands here, it's like either you blocked them, they blocked you for some of you, or they're needing to fight for you. And that's like the challenge. What's the possible outcome here for Scorpio and their person? What's the possible outcome here for Scorpio and their person? What's the possible outcome for Scorpio? Wow, the tower just... Five of Swords. Why the Five of Swords? Interesting. Why the Five of Swords? I feel like someone's walking away. I feel like, you know what I'm getting, guys? Very strongly, is someone's walking away from drama. From fighting. Queen of Pentacles. Someone could be walking away from a marriage. For others of you, this person wants to win at all costs. They want to make this happen at all costs. Move these down. Interesting. If this is resonating, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know what's going on here. Let's use a different deck to clarify these. Spirit, help me clarify these messages. Move you guys a little bit here. Okay. So, oh. sorry guys. Oh wow! Split the deck. I have magician and ten of cups. Ten of cups again. I feel like this person wants to make this happen. You're gonna do whatever it takes, is what I'm getting with those two. How do I clarify these messages for Scorpio and their person regarding their partner for February 2020? Messages for Scorpio and their partners, February 2020. Mm. Okay. Start with the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? And this is what's on their mind. So clearly they're thinking um, family. They're thinking happiness, fulfillment, emotional stability, emotional fulfillment here. Six of Swords. Interesting. King of Swords. Honor of the deck, Ace of Swords. Well, that makes sense. Someone could be traveling towards you to, to communicate how they feel. Someone could be living at a distance from you. I just get the sense someone might be leaving their family. Because it's not working with the devil card. And they've had clarity about this. That's just for some of you, but it's, it's here. Okay, tell me about this Eight of Wands and the Three of Swords. This is how they see you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Three of Swords. Why the Eight of Wands? The Three of Swords. I feel like this is like painful communication. That's too many. Why the Eight of Wands and Three of Swords? 
Butterfly, Eight of Wands again. Eight of Wands, Three of Swords, please. Or Scorpio. I feel like one more. Three of Wands, High Priestess. I feel like someone wants to communicate. Ten of Cups, another deck again. Someone wants to communicate. There's going to be communication back and forth. Someone's waiting for this communication to be like they're waiting for a reply of some sort. They don't know yet what the reply is going to be with the High Priestess. I also feel like someone intuitively is waiting for the right time here. It's like they're going through some situ a situation right now and it's like they're waiting for the right time to act. Tell me about this star. This is how they feel about this connection. Spirit, tell me about the star for Scorpio and their partner. Four of Cups, Six of Cups. Interesting. Someone sees you as their Six of Cups. But there's like this, also this energy of a missed opportunity. I feel like this person in the past, if this is a past person, they missed on an opportunity with you. For others of you, this is someone who is probably a, like a past life, past love life type of connection. And it's like you've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the right offer to come along. Um, but this is this is from this person's point of view. So I really just think that they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. You are all they think about. You are all they see. So they're not interested in anybody else also. Ten of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the deck. So let's check out the blockages here. What's the challenge here with the Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups? Okay. The moon and three of pentacles. Okay, so this could be a third party situation for some of you. For others of you, this is just someone who, I feel like, okay, there's something unknown. There's doubt, there's fear, there's confusion here. Could be a Pisces that, that um, you could have Pisces in your chart or vice versa, but that's, Mostly I'm just thinking that there's somebody that wants to work on this, wants to build something because I have Ace of Cups and the Lovers here, but it's like they just don't know if this is going to work out. I feel like they're defending something here with the Seven of Wands. They're sticking up for something. What's at the bottom of the deck? Two of Wands and higher font. This person, for those of you that this person's married, they're deciding whether they want to leave this marriage. For others of you, they're thinking about marriage, the possibilities, because Two of Wands is all about possibilities. What an interesting reading. So let's look at the outcome. So why the Five of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio? as the outcome. I see commitment here for sure. I mean, I see love in this spread. Even though there's, you know, other situations, you know, like hardships and challenges, I also see a lot of love, a lot of good intentions from this person. This person is really serious, but they're also confused and dealing with something. Queen of Swords. This person's going to cut something out and do and, and go for something new with the fool under the deck here. Tell me more about the outcome between Scorpio and this person. Spirit, tell me more about the outcome between Scorpio and this person. Page of Wands. Yeah, this person is just going to go after what they want. That's what I'm getting here. They're going to walk, if this is someone walking away from a marriage, they're going to do it.
they're tired, they're exhausted, they've been through it. They're stressing out. And it's gonna, yeah, there's gonna be like, there's like conflict that this person's dealing with. Five of Wands, Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, um, Seven of Wands. There's some, there's a situation here that either you're dealing with or they're dealing with. They could be having a blow up in their relationship right now. This doesn't have to be marriage. It could just be really like a long-term commitment. But that's what I see. Like this person is just going through a lot right now. They're walking away towards something new. Again with a seven of wands. It's like they're protecting their happiness. They're going after what makes them happy with the wands and you, Scorpio. Knight of Wands and Death. This person is going at for you and they're going to make an offer. Like, I just, it's clear as day here. The question is, are you going to accept? <laughs> so let me know down in the comments if this resonated with you. If this is a situation that you find yourself in, what's going on, I'd love to hear from you. Subscribe if you like what I do. Thank you so much for checking out this reading and I'll see you guys in my next one.